wheels are in motion. There's this collaborative effort all across the city that we're inviting people to come. They're preparing the ground. Over here, I'm collecting the mulch and everything to take back to this area where they're going to be planting. Volunteers are ready to help. We're going to go out in the community, knocking doors and telling them um, to come over uh, to be a part of it. This is the start of an Irving community garden. When I realized that we had this piece of property out here that we really wasn't doing anything with, you know, I talked to uh, one of the church members who's a gardener and he decided, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Councilman Dennis Webb is also the pastor of Bear Creek Community Church. The church has donated this land and created partnerships to kick off a community garden. We're kind of the guinea pig. You know, we're, we're kind of the ones that we're doing the trial and error on it. You know, we're going to try to, you know, ourselves be the model. The city is one of its partners, donating compost bins and offering resources to make it successful. You put all those resources together, you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish because nobody has to really give a whole lot, everybody just give a little. Both the city and the church say it's important to get the whole community involved with this garden. That's why they're offering these adoptive plots. Give anyone the opportunity who wants to give their green thumb a try. We're going to have classes here to show them um, how to take care of those uh, plots and stuff. And yeah, we're definitely doing all that we can so we can all do it together. It is a very exciting adventure for these local Girl Scouts and Brownies. I'm just happy I'm out here to, you know, help garden and play and do all of that stuff. The girls look forward to growing items in their own plot. I want to plant flowers, tomatoes. I like to plant lemons. And as the garden flourishes, volunteers believe it will be a huge asset to our community. It should help Irvin real well. It will also help stock the church's food pantry with fresh food options. This is going to allow us to also provide, you know, fruit and vegetables also on a consistent basis. Uh, this will be a year-round garden. Councilman Webb hopes the garden is a big hit and other churches consider donating land. And so if this catches on, we hope to have, you know, several community gardens all strategically throughout the city. For now, it is a project bridging the gap between neighbors while encouraging healthy living. Ashley Roberts for City Source.